Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really good tuna rig. This tuna rig was just killing it at the Keys this year. It's what I call a stealth tuna rig. It's got one of my favorite lures and it's going to help you catch a lot of tuna. If you can have the Keys or really anywhere, blackfin tuna, they're going to love this lure. So I have this little feather. It's a boon feather. I really like this. I also really like the um, CNH rattle jet. It's another good one. But uh, this one does really well, especially in this black and purple. Black and red is also good, uh, both really good colors. If you're going down to the Florida Keys, uh, trolling the humps, uh, the reason I think black and red and black and purple do good is I heard there was like this type of worm, little minnow, whatever it is, and it's a dark, it's like a black colored worm. So I think this is kind of matching the hatch. I think this is why it does so well over traditional you know, white over blue or white over pink or stuff like that. So, what makes this rig special is it's very stealthy. If you go buy a store-bought, you know, CNH rattle jet, I think it's got like 80 pound or 100 pound mono. It's got about a six foot leader, a little barrel swivel on the end. Um, you know, good good rig, I've caught a lot of fish on it. But sometimes I want to keep it stealthy. There's two and a half good eyes, it can be really clear water, and there could be a lot of those baits trolling around. What I like to use for this rig is 40 pound pink fluoro. Uh, I'm sure any fluoro would uh, help give you that stealth advantage. You know, whether you want white, light blue, or whatever brand, um, a good light 40 pound fluoro. And I'm gonna make this a long leader. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it with a wind on swivel. So since it's really long, I don't wanna have to like, when I get to the leader, you know, hand line the fish in. This way anglers can just reel it right up, it'll go right through your roller guides, and uh, you know, simple as that. If you don't have roller guides, you might just want to tie the line directly to your main line. Um, I haven't really tried this with non-roller guided, but uh, you can make it work either way. This rig I'm going to use either a 4 alt or 5 alt, you know, depending on where you're comfortable with hook. I like to do it maybe, um, I know my wingspan is five and a half feet, so this is 11, <clears throat> this is 16 and a half, 22, plenty long and stealthy. Now another thing you can do to make this different, which I like to have some options, is you can also slide a quarter or a half ounce weight in between this lure and the hook. I like to do that because it'll get a little bit deeper. If it's a windy day, you know, it's a light lure. It'll help me letting it back. And um, it'll also keep it down. So, you know, maybe the tuner a little bit deeper and that'll uh, maybe give me some more options. If I have one of these with the weight and one without a weight, one without a weight, I'm gonna troll the one without a weight further back. I usually like my, the closer they are to my boat, the heavier or deeper I'm gonna run them just to keep it tangle free. So. Got my line, this is a 22 foot leader. I can tie it to a hook. I like either an improved cinch knot or a polymer, both very strong. Trim the excess off. You don't have to trim it super close because this is gonna be hidden in the, in the lure. Find the other end. Slide a little weight on. Put it through your uh, lure. There we go. Now we're just gonna tie our wind on swivel. This is a Bill Fisher size three, 150 pound test. 150 pounds seems big, but it's a pretty small swivel. I have uh, no problem using this. One last thing I like to do is I'll wrap it up. I use a rubber band to uh, hold it all together. Just gonna use my rubber bands. 
It's a trick I like to do to hold my lures together. It's cheap, easy. Just make a loop. Tie a basic half hitch. It'll hold it in the spot. There you have it. This is my killer tuna rig down the keys. It does really well. Uh, recommend giving it a try. You know, you might find you like it. I've had some friends use it. They say it was really good. Worked really well for me both times I used it. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.